The second floor again. Keep track of the beams from the second floor. The second floor goes to the first floor, obviously. How does it get there? I'm going to fade into the BMAs. So you see the balconies going from here on the second floor, wrapping around to this. There's a BMA here. This is a BMA, and that's a BMA. But also this step, this entire step is a BMA. So it transfers through the B. It's a BMA, and it transfers through the BMA. Give me a second here. Mm -mm, wrong one. Maybe it was the right one. Nope, wrong one. So this is uh, break Firefox. Um, this one. So it transfers through the BMA. Here's the BMA coming down here. The BMA is here, coming across, tying into that one. This is part of the. This is that uh, 13 foot floor, full floor above us. I don't know how much of a, of a material, what material this is underneath. Um, there's the two columns there. That's where she talks about parking 17 is right there about the two columns there. I'll orient you with uh, the two columns right here. So of the two columns where the car par is parked is that H beam that you guys keep asking about. The H style one. There's the car park. There's the two spots. Let's go back to it again. Let's go at it. So we'll go at this a little differently. There are the two beams together. So there's the H part right there, over around, wrapping around to here. And so there's coming around the ceiling, coming up to, I believe, right there, and coming over to here where you see the two sides doubled up. So we go back to here. So quick time play. Uh, nope. So we go back to here. There's the double beams right here. There's your H. Comes around. This is your front of your building. So this is your front of your building. So we go back to the video. So your front of your building is right here. So out here, this is the pool deck. It's the pool deck. This should be the um, in front of the garage area. So this should be that um, where they come out on the patio and look from here above us. And that's your driveway. So this would be that bedroom that would be falling down here. There's a BMH right here. There's nothing going across this BMH from here to there. So I should be able to go here and then right about this driveway, you see no BMH going across. So I go back to here, BMH. And there, there is no presents to see, right? So it presents, there's no BMH here. So that's that elevation change, though, of... Well, it says two foot six right here. I'm on the, yeah, I'm on the drawings where it's a 10 foot change elevation because I wanted to work from there. So this is the 10, one foot elevation change because it shows where the, the original intent, the one foot step down, two foot six step, step up into the lobby area, which changed the one six. Now let's overlay the second floor on top of this again, the beams and all. So I'll slowly bring it in. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in strong. And here are your columns. Columns. I believe this is. This is. I think I'm about to adjust. That's him way over here. Or is that it? Nevertheless, I, I think it's this one. I think when we do the math, when you look at the count, when the bridge the collapse, it's one, two, three, and maybe it is this one then. Yeah, maybe maybe it is the end of this one. Because I always count it one, two, three, and then the other one. So perhaps I kept calling it M, and it's, it's probably really, it might be this one. Send me's are, are, are uh, tugging failure happened here, which we can still get it happening here, not biasedly so. I can tug on this one and cause this one to pull over, and we get our stockpile of materials coming in this direction. Um, let's go to this. Let's do the overlay again. So you can see it slowly come in. And you see this is the second floor balconies, the beams. So people go into the bedrooms, they walk out on the balconies. There's the beams to the left side and the right side of their structure. There's the bump out, penthouse style, going back out this way.
and that beam that's to bump out the penthouse it takes the load there which comes across and ties into this BMA here this one is part of the uh, planter area well, part of the planter area for taking those uh, those the decking and planting it's a uh, some expensive uh, setup there for that for that room for that lower level because there's nothing else low bearing above it so that's that the intent of that would be the uh, elevated fancy first floor living stack it out like that so again now you see the the beams for the rooms above hitting right on these BMAs right here you pull on any of these BMAs and you're pulling on the wall see the, see the second floor so you pull on any of these BMAs and there they are pulling right on the columns so this is, it took me a while to get this overlay balanced out where it's where it's pretty close to where all these I mean this is off a little bit right there see that ghosting right there let's go out you'll see see how it comes up when I pull in the other one it's not quite there it's very close my X's are off just a little bit, so you're gonna have to tolerate, you know, some some tolerances of, of me overlaying this, some shadowing, if you will. Uh, it's, I mean, I took many screenshots to try to get it balanced, to be able to be able to pull us to get pull us this better. That's why I pulled down the other video to get the alignment better, so you can see so you can see the intent of the BMAs. When I looked at it, I was like, wait a minute. Um, this is, this is, you misunderstand, I think you're, I miss, uh, got across incorrectly, I think, um, what I wanted to get across is that these are the BMAs and they're the columns that's sitting on top of the BMAs. So let's get that a little more refined. They're, they sit on top of the BMA or with the BMAs being, so you pull a BMA, you pull a column. Darn it. See, look, now it's out of alignment again. You pull on the, uh, you pull on these BMAs, you pull on these columns. So the deck failure pulls on the BMAs. Let's go like that. And let's bring in the BMAs. And let's take out the BMAs. we will fade, fade it back very lightly. And you can see the overlay now, the second floor. So you pull on these BMAs, you pull on in these columns, and you get the, you get your catastrophic failure. So I think I think it's just BMA, but it c it could be. No, I don't think it was that far over, was it? It wasn't that far over. I'm 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 leaning back towards this one still. What do you guys think? Right here, I remember like one, two, three, and then the next one. I remember I keep counting that going one, two, three, next one. So this is the one that I keep picking on. This one here. Never, it, nevertheless, it, it, you get the deck pulling on the BMAs. Now remember the deck is shaped like. I talked about the BMAs. It, it's like uh, that elevated the, these integral integral beams, and then the step down. How they do that step down um, coming across from the elevation changes down and over. So you pull and you use rebar reinforcement through that section. So you pull on the deck. You get the deck pulling down. You pull on the internal flooring here on the first floor. Pulling on that first floor, you then pull on and through these columns. They're integral through the columns. The deck is the uh, that that step up that I'm gonna find it. The the step up detail right here. So your deck is down. Your deck is down here. They still they be, those beams that go up. They they somehow inter, are integral with this right here because they're in the same plane. They're in the same plane as right here. Uh, did I get that right? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. yep, right here. See the two foot six elevation change? You can pick the other one. If, you know, if it makes you happy, we'll we'll pull it to one. You know. All right, so page 162. Yep, didn't work. I 
Okay. 162 is the uh, is the same page here. Of 1110 and 162. So I go up one. Nope. Down one. Nope. So 162 is this one. So one, two, and that's the missed report. Hold on. Missed again. Metals. Uh, looks like we're going to be stuck with this one for a second. Let's try the next page. Huh. Isn't that funny? Now I can't find a damn 1111. Uh, 11. It would date with the same date. 1110, rather. There it is right in front of me. Okay, so the uh, 1110, page 8. Uh, so, only thing ch it's changed, 1 6 now. It's still, this still is that step up. These beams are about the same right here. These double beams go up to the building. Um, so, we come over to the left, and there's our step up. The varies. And and it's the slab drop is what they refer to a detailed slab drop. So they go from slab to slab, the drop, the one six, here to here, and these are this is different at this location. This the elevations are different for the patio for the these people's patio. But here, here, here is where we get the second floor. Coming out. Let me do that quick. Uh, nope. Uh, this one. So we get the second floor. You see. Again, I'm sorry for not being exact right there. I can't see the line just perfectly. But we bring in the second floor, and you see where it sits on top of the BMH, and BMH, and BMH. So you pull on a BMH. You pull directly on a column is what I'm trying to show you. You're pulling directly on a column. You pull between them, you're still pulling on a column because unless you pull out a zone right here, it's still wrapped around there. As we saw in one of the images and from NIST, it's wrapped around it. So you pull on the floor, you're still pulling on a column. You pull it on BMH, you're definitely pulling on a column. So you put you, you screw with these BMHs, you're pulling on a column. Over here, we, we this is the secondary collapse. Or is it primary? Here's the H. If it's this one, it's. I don't think it's that one because I think this just shifted over to your left a little bit. I think it went down. I, I don't really have it crushing and buckling these columns equally here, here, and here because I think this center support is actually behind it. So I have this sort of shifting over to the left a little bit, falling off of its system rockers and falling right in front of it, maybe a few inches in front of this and then I don't know how they removed the column or not but it's just in front of it it's like it pulled off the head just like a deck would and then fell down uh, the whole the whole H section as we see it on the floor floor out there but again I want you to see that you pull on these BMHs and you're pulling on the you're getting your earthquake effect going all the way up you pull on the floor you're still getting your earthquake all the way up where I showed you with Georgie on the metal pan so you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You touch those BMHs, you're screwed. You touch the deck, you're screwed. So you, you pick your poison on this one, and, and I'm, I can pick either, either one ends with the deck movement, the deck moving. You move this BMH in, you're moving the deck in. You're also moving the column in directly, though. So if you want to find a direct, a direct correlation of the column being pulled out, with two fingers up in part 611, we gotta figure out which wall it is. If we figure out which wall she sort of two fingers in, we could figure out which BMH pulled on her wall. So there's a, there's a riddle for you guys. If you can figure out which one of her walls, she said she can put two fingers down, and it was at the doorway, I, from what I understand, right, uh, Tom? If it's at the doorway, we can now figure out, we can overlay the porches. Let's see, let's back this up a little bit. We can overlay her room. I think it was this this room here, and this is the balcony, as you go up. And if it was this one, well then, let's, let me think about it. So we pull this one out. 
I don't have this one moving as much. So we, I would say, I would hope that you find my bias. So I don't really hope that. I take that back. Uh, if it, if you find that it was this wall, then it was this one was pulled on, but more so than the rest, because she didn't say both walls. You know, did, did she look at both walls? I don't know. But we're getting too close to the. I don't think it's these two at all. These two lasted the longest. So it's 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 these two right here. You get to pick your poison on these two. Where she came out to close the door, noticed that she could crack between her front wall, I think it was. She, there's another, another lady says it ran down there, right? It's not the same lady, is it? So that she noticed and she points to the right a little bit in the sky and down to the wall. Um, and she's not pointing to the left. This is her outside, I think this is her bedroom wall. I mean, outer wall, the kitchen wall. This is the kitchen wall. So as we overlay in the ring cameras in here somewhere, we see this wall. Uh, might go first if we know by the overlaying video yeah it's this wall that goes first and this is secondary so if he's in above this if he's in anywhere above here everything to the left goes first so anything over here it sort of comes this direction but our overlay now here's our column overlay going all the way up to the well I guess the 12th floor and then you have the penthouse with a different setup but the uh, there's the overlay and this BMH doesn't exist, but it exists out to here, and the uh, out the right to here, to here, and to here, but not not all the way down because that's the one foot. That's the one foot. This is the older plans that were changed the same day, where they changed the elevations and everything. So I just want to get this to you again. There's your, there's your overlay right there. If you want to take a screenshot of that, you can look at the overlay. I'll take a screenshot myself. So I'll leave that overlay, and you can look at that if you screenshot it, and you can consider it. Let's see if I can get you a little bit like that, perhaps even. I'll hold it there for a second for a screenshot if you want. Actually, that doesn't look like a bad screenshot, cause you, but you have to realize the BMA stops there, here, and here, not down to there. That's where original intent was. And this one, I think it does exist. And there's your H over here, H, as you guys called it. Actually, one of the ladies called it that. Oh, U, and that U shape. And then I think uh, Katatashi said, I think it's more H shape. So we'll go with H, um, you know, as we look at it from this view. So hopefully this one is helpful, this version. And let's get this one up there. This is, this is a much better, cleaner overlay of the, of the uh, BMH is what I was trying to show how they support on the BMH, on the columns, but on the BMH, BMA, BMA also, because you remember, these just don't go through, sometimes they go around, per that drawing, per the, uh, per the NIST uh, images, the, how the deck slab interface, but we see no interface like this, we have not, I found no materials where they show the interface, besides extrapolation. Take care.